Consisting of 27,000 square miles in the states of Arizona, New Mexico, and Utah, the Navajo Nation, geographically, is the largest Native American reservation in the United States. The Navajo Nation claims approximately 298,000 enrolled members. It is the second largest tribe in population, with over 173,000 Navajos living on the reservation. Today, the Navajo Nation is striving to sustain a viable economy for an ever-increasing population. In years past, Navajo land often appeared to be little more than a desolate section of the southwest U.S. Many Navajo families still live in traditional houses called hogans, although trailers or more modern houses are tending to replace them. More than 40% of homes currently do not have running water or electricity. Some homes are within one mile of electrical lines, but due to issues with land rights, running electricity to a house can take multiple years. Some prefer it this way, while others live so far from power stations or each other that it would be too expensive to connect them to the grid. In an effort to lower the poverty level on the Navajo Reservation, the Air Force has partnered with the Southwest Indian Foundation through the Department of Defense's IRT program, a volunteer opportunity for the National Guard and Reserves that provides training benefits for military personnel while addressing the needs of underserved American communities. The SWIF builds approximately 20 plus homes a year, a pace that is unachievable without the extra hands that the Air Force lends. Our mission is to uh, build homes uh, for the Indian community, Navajo Indian community, on the reservation for people that are in need of homes. Uh, the level of realism here is something that can't be duplicated in a simulated environment. Here on the site today, we have airmen doing projects on different phases of building a house. Uh, one of the things that's really good about this site is that it's an excellent training project reflecting all of the different trades that we would do when we deploy downrange and build a tent city. The way mentorship works on the job site for us, we've got senior mass sergeants and mass sergeants that have years of experience. And in a mission like this, we're not on a tight production schedule, so we have time to give the airmen, the junior NCOs, experience. As the commander, I need to understand what everyone's job entails. I'm lucky enough to have a profession where in construction I can be as hands-on as, as possible. Within our country there's a lot of people that need our services and this gives us a good training project while being ambassadors to the Navajo people. We learned a lot and I know that we're sharing with them about what we can do and that they're benefiting a lot from our skill set and expertise and production of the houses that we're building.